Hey y'all, Ned over at MyPhilippineDreams.com and now for something completely different. Today we are at the Negros Oriental Detention and Rehabilitation Center, otherwise known as the jail. Prison, state penitentiary, whatever you want to call it. Um, we actually met somebody about seven months ago, an inmate here who's been waiting trial 11 years on a murder charge. And uh, he gave us a tour of the jail. I actually worked in prisons for many, many, many years. And seeing the juxtaposition and the differences between Phil um, Philippines prisons and prisons in the United States is uh, pretty overwhelming. So we're going to go in now. we got some shoes to give him for his next court date, uh, which is in May. And he's going to give us a little uh, tour of the jail. So come along. I know enough to get myself in trouble. Mm -hmm. Alright. So the stamp must be waved. Okay. Uh, pardon right. me, are you an American or yeah. American? Yeah, but I tell people I'm Canadian. Ah. Salamat. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alright, so that's 376 inmates. And you basically just walk in. This is the chapel. I use that. And all the inmates are out and about. Good morning, sir. Good morning. My own Punta. America. So they got roosters. Very handsome rooster. Wapo. Wapo rooster. And they got cats. Looks like they got a karaoke system. Like checkers. Good morning. Getting. Now we gotta find John Harkin. So, this is pretty cool. They have a amplifier, graphic equalizer, and they have a computer with YouTube on it. So they're gonna be able to watch their own YouTube video. Hey, that's pretty nice. John's trying on his shoes over there. Hopefully these fit. Fit, good? All right. Good, good. Looks like a lawyer. Huh? Looks like a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, professional. Yeah. All right. So, John has been kind enough to give us a tour of the federal penitentiary, Negros Oriental. One of the first things I noticed when I walked in here is they actually got an electric shop. He's got a, a multimeter and he's fixing earphones. This is something that definitely would not be allowed in the West. Nice job. This is the new line. This is where guys yeah. come when they first get here. Is this two floors? Yeah, yeah. Two floors. They're here for a month. Just lie down there. For orientation. During night time, just lie down there. Oh, they line the floor too? Oh, wow. Overcrowded. Yeah. All right. This is where the magic happens. Mayong Buntag! And uh, there's a number of these cell blocks. Two floors. And uh, they just house the guys here on the blocks. And they got TV, eating breakfast. Got 
gotta make sure you take off your flip flops before you go in the cell block. And there's uh, 84 guys in cell block number one. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. In the West, this is what we call a special housing unit, an SHU. And uh, this one's just like right out in the courtyard, facing the courtyard. And it's basically just a box, man. This is harsh right here. Somebody go stay here. And cooking breakfast over here. This is the uh, this is a very dirty kitchen. <laughs> Now, what's interesting about this prison as compared to the West is it's basically a village that's surrounded by a wall. And they got sorry, sorry. They got hairdressers. They got school. They got repair shops. And we're all going to look at those. So is this where everybody, this is where they cook food for everybody in the, in the jail, in the prison? Right here? Yeah, yeah. Right there is over. Over on the other side? Lots of rice. <clears throat> All right. Take photo. Usa tuha tulo. Salamat. And laundry. Thank you. We got coconuts, we got mongoose, we got cigarettes over here. The sorry, sorry. Again, they were allowed to have cash on them. And there's a woman over there with her baby. John said on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's like family day, they can come in with their kids and everything. Which is pretty important, you know, because most people here are getting out. So it's important to maintain those social ties. And there's a woman over there with her baby. John said on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's like family day, they can come in with their kids.